every episode has some sort of cliffhanger. I feel like every episode you're like, what? No way. It feels really, really good. Oh, it's been such an adventure, I have to say. I didn't I didn't think it was gonna feel any different until like this last week. And I'm like, wow, this is a big deal. This is a big moment. I mean, I knew it was a big deal. I knew it was a big moment, but it's like, welcome to the MCU. It's like, oh, this is, this is, this feels big. <laughs> For me, you know, this is the first experience I've had of the MCU, as you say. And I think it's been really fun to be a part of the TVA, which, you know, the time variance authority that we see in Loki, because even though everyone knows and loves Loki as a character, the TVA is a completely new and fresh aspect of the universe. So it's a whole new perspective and there's a new look to it. Um, so that's been really fun. And then obviously playing a judge, a uh, very sort of respected and authoritative character has been a bit of a departure for me. So I've, I've really relished it. Yeah, I mean, obviously I was aware of it. I think, you know, how can you not be, you know, living in the world, I'd have probably had to have been living under a rock to not. Yeah, I mean, I definitely hadn't watched everything. And so um, research wise, I just ended up watching all of Loki's um, journey in in the MCU. But I'm still, got, I still got a lot to catch up on. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sort of a mega fan. So for me, you know, obviously I loved more recent movies like Black Panther and, um, you know, and so for me to be able to go back and see films, you know, I'd seen Thor, the original Thor, but going back and seeing all the other films and seeing where Loki fits into it was was probably one of the most fun sort of homework research uh, experiences I've had for a job. That's tricky, I mean, Every episode has some sort of cliffhanger. I feel like every episode you're like, what? No way. There's so many surprises and twists and turns. I think you should be looking forward to every single one of them. You need to get right to the end. Like that's the magic. Four and five get really juicy for Renslayer. So I'm excited for people to see that. But yeah, every episode there's definitely something. And I think that's the smart thing of, for Disney Plus of dropping the episodes week by week is they sort of really make you wait, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to savor it and get excited for the next one. So um, I hope that will be a fun experience for people this summer. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, that would be telling really, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know a lot of what we see in the show sort of predates the comics but that's the fun thing i think is that there's a lot of potential there and i think it's it's cool for me you know as an actor coming into the mcu people already have so many ideas about your character you know normally you're like this is my character like i'm the authority <laughs> but actually you know the fans know no renslayer um much more than i do in some ways but it's 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 been really fun sort of you know getting to create the tva renslayer I don't know. I mean, what do you think? I, we we sort of um, we sort of established it as a long running old friendship, you know. And I think there is a real fondness for each other. And um, you know, I think that maybe Renslayer has a soft spot for Mobius, but she also has a job to do, and she, you know, is in a position of authority over him. She's his boss. So, you know, I think there is a sense that, you know, no lines are going to be crossed there necessarily, but there is also a sense of fun and a warmth and an intimacy between them. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll just have to watch to see how it develops, but it's um, it was really fun working with Owen Wilson for sure. I had gotten into, I think my first Marvel film was Black Panther and I loved it and um, wanted to be a part of the MCU from that moment because I had no idea these stories and ideas that were felt relevant and important to me were being explored in the superhero world. I really thought that was for someone else that looked like the opposite of me. And so um, after Black Panther, I was definitely hooked and wanted to be a part of it. I mean, Black Panther just meant the world to so many people in the African diaspora. I mean, it just felt amazing to see the continent in it, all its beauty and riches and, you know, reminding us who we are. 
I think it's wonderful and it's about time. I mean, on, on more than one level, it's literally about time, uh, our show. And, you know, and I think it's great, you know, with Wumi and Sasha Lane and, you know, as, as you said, so many powerful women of color in, um, in Loki. So, so for me, it's great. And I think it's, it's great to see, you know, a respected authoritative character like a judge, you know, um, and it's a departure for me, you know, to be able to play that sort of character of gravitas. So I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it too.